Hi, I'm Joan Kang Shin. Welcome to Our World's Professional Development Program. These videos will help teachers improve their classroom practice and help their students to get the most out of Our World. This video is about planning a lesson. We'll look at each step of an effective lesson plan for teaching English. Experienced teachers know they need to do more than simply follow the activities in a student book one by one. They need to connect the book's activities to their students' abilities and learning styles and to the overall objectives of the course. Effective teaching begins with a lesson plan that addresses these needs. A lesson plan is like a roadmap for a trip that you and your students are taking. The final goal or destination cannot be reached without carefully planning each stop along the way and all you will need to get there. The final destination is found in the lesson objectives. A good lesson plan specifies the objectives or goals of the class period. An objective is a statement of specific, observable, and measurable student performance. It is what you expect the students to be able to do in a way that you can see and test. Objectives state where the students are going with you as a guide and the lesson plan as the map. A good lesson plan has many benefits. Most importantly, it requires you to define your objectives for the lesson and plan activities in a sequence that will ensure student success. It provides step-by-step -step instructions for every moment in class. A complete lesson plan even helps you prepare for class by listing the materials and resources you'll need to have in order to make classroom activities successful. To get the most out of our world, teachers should develop lesson plans that use the activities in the student book as an integral part of their instruction. Your school or institution may have a required format for lesson planning, or you may prefer to use your own format. In either case, our world comes with a teacher resource called a lesson planner, which has a fully developed lesson plan for every lesson. Each Our World lesson plan follows the same six core steps, which are recognized as the standard for effective language instruction. They are warm up, present, practice, apply, extend, and wrap up. The steps of a lesson are worded as verbs that represent the actions the teacher takes each step of the way. Let's take a closer look at each of these steps. To warm up means to prepare students for a lesson. This includes creating interest and excitement about the topic and preparing students for the new language input. The new language input could be vocabulary, grammar structures, or language functions. Warming students up usually includes activating their prior knowledge of the topic or context, as well as reviewing known language that will be used or recycled in the unit. By helping students see what they already know and connecting to their previous experiences, you make sure they're ready to learn. In this unit called Fresh Food, the teacher warms students up by reviewing what they already know about different food, including vegetables. Um, lemons. lemons. Okay. Coconuts. Coconuts. Yes. Orange. Sorry. Orange. Orange. You see oranges there? Yes. Oranges. What else? Onions. Onions. You see onions there? To present refers to explicitly introducing the new language structures. This might mean teaching new vocabulary words or grammatical structures through visuals, realia, graphic organizers, or even through a song or story. You should take your time on this step and provide lots of meaningful listening and reading input. 
This will help students gain comprehension of the new language and help you know how well they understand. In our world, new language is presented with visuals, text, audio, and video. In this example, the grammatical structures being presented are have to and don't have to to express obligation. The activity for presenting these grammatical structures connects the meaning of the structure to students' real lives. The lesson planner says to draw a two-column chart on the board. Label the chart at school, write, we have to over the left-hand column, and we don't have to over the right-hand column. The suggested language for the teacher is, in school, there are many things we have to do. We have to pay attention. We have to take turns in class. What other things do we have to do at school? And then it continues with examples of things students don't have to do at school. As you can see, our world provides teachers with both activities and language for presenting new content to young learners. Practice refers to the step in which students practice using new language. This is a very important step in the process of language learning. It helps students internalize what they are learning and develop proficiency. For young learners, especially beginners, practice is guided, meaning the students are given the structures and support needed to produce target language. They are not expected to create the language independently. Since the goal is to give learners plenty of opportunities to try out the new language to prepare them for real communication, the lesson planner also provides ideas for additional support or guidance for the practice step. In the following example, there are suggestions for showing the meaning of the sentences with gestures. For this activity in the student book, the teacher can increase the amount of interaction and practice by asking several students for answers. For example, after one student gives the answer to number one, the teacher asks, when do you have to plant the seeds? Then she asks another student, when does he have to plant the seeds? Does he have to plant the seeds next week? This is an example of how the teacher can provide additional practice with new language and support communication and learning in the classroom. <music> to apply means to use the new language in a more personalized way. At the apply stage, students should be able to use the language in a realistic context and connect the language to their own lives. Our world student books include application activities for every vocabulary and grammar section. These activities are designed to encourage students to communicate with one another and apply the language to their lives. The lesson planner gives suggestions to help teachers conduct application activities successfully. In this example, students are doing a sticker activity in pairs. They have to ask each other questions about how often or when they do certain activities, such as brush their teeth or eat vegetables. They're applying the new language to their personal lives. <music> to extend means to provide additional communicative activities for practice, application, and enrichment. This step serves as a way to stretch students' ability to communicate in real-world situations. The R World Lesson Planner provides easy-to-use extension activities. In this example, students have a conversation with a partner and try to find different things they both do. First, the teacher writes a sample dialogue on the board and puts students in pairs. As you can see, the lesson planner even gives suggestions for setting the activity up. Ask each other questions about things you do. Try to find something that you both do once a day, twice a day, three times a day, every day, or on Saturdays. 
to wrap up means to conclude the lesson or class with a final activity. It's always important for students to leave class knowing that they've completed an activity and learned something. A wrap up might be a review of what was learned in class. For example, a game or a comprehension check. Or a wrap up might be the conclusion to a pair work extension activity in which the teacher asks individual students what they learned from their partners. Every R World lesson includes appropriate wrap up activities for each class. Teachers should prepare their lessons carefully to optimize student learning. This involves specifying the goals or activities of the lesson, and then planning the steps in a sequence that scaffolds the learning process to ensure student success. The recommended sequence for a successful lesson is to warm up, present, practice, apply, extend, and wrap up. Understanding these basic steps of an effective lesson is a great start. The R World Lesson Planner provides fully developed lesson plans with suggested language for teaching every unit in every level to help you get the most out of the learning materials. As you become more familiar with R World materials, you can apply your own ideas to the steps of a lesson to create your own lesson plans. After all, you're the expert in your own classroom. Happy lesson planning! Boy and girl, this is our world.